Hey guys, welcome to Love Hate, the show where I love things, but hate them at the same time. Pretty confusing, I know. Today I'll be covering Blizzard's new incredible game, Right to Hell Retribution. I'm really funny. Here are my 10 things that I love and hate about Overwatch. Number one. The amount of characters, I mean, look at them all. A ninja, a dwarf, Barney the dinosaur's daughter. There's a lot of variety here, so there's something for everyone. Yes, even you, Grandma. <laughs> empty, isn't it? There's not a lot of game modes here. Quick play, AI, which, let's be honest, doesn't even count as a game mode. Training, there's just not a lot of filling to this cake. Quite enjoyed that analogy right there. Although, saying that, number two. I actually really enjoy the weekly brawl. I really enjoy the one when it had double health, especially when you played as Mercy. It actually felt weird going back from that because I kept dying so fast. I'm really good. Number two. Bastion. I don't like Bastion, all right? Don't judge me. I just think he's annoying as balls. I think I hate him more because I suck with him. I always think, God, Bastion's OP. Then I play as him and get wrecked. You're a prick, Bastion. Number three. The game actually has a lot of maps. It only feels like there isn't a lot of maps sometimes because you've played them all so many times, you know? Even ones like the Robot Temple. I forgot the name. Don't kill me. They have three variations of it. I like it. Number three. Now, this is a personal hate, so feel free to defend it, but it's on so many platforms. Now, why is that a bad thing? Well, I'm a selfish prick, all right? I'm also a console peasant, so I play on Xbox One. My best friend plays on PS4. My brother who plays, plays on PC. A lot of my friends play on PC. If it was Xbox exclusive, it would force people to buy an Xbox, hence I'd have more people to play it with. That was the most selfish thing I've ever heard in my life. Number four. You can change your characters whenever you want. Getting destroyed as Widowmaker, just change to Zenyatta. Getting your ass beat as Bastion, then stay as Bastion because he's really OP. Again, though, I say that. Number four. Because of the character changes, your team comp can get messed up pretty easily. For example, sometimes I'll just fill the role. I like playing offensive or playing as support. Let's say both of those are gone, so I go for a tank, right? Then later in the game, you're just like, where the hell's my healing? Why am I not getting healed? Then you look and the mercy who's on your team has swapped to a fucking Widowmaker. It's a blessing and a curse. More of a blessing, but a slight curse. Number five. Skins! There's a lot of skins! And I don't mean the TV show. <laughs> I really like the Soldier 76 skin as well. The Origins one when he's young and cool and not looking like he's gonna break his hip every ultimate. Not to mention all the color swaps. However... Number five. But I hate this skin. 15 year old Tumblr user. Number six. All the unlockables and the loot boxes. I love opening loot boxes, man. It's so excited, so rattled up, so not hard. I love unlockables as well, with the tagging and the hero thingy majigs that I quite enjoy. So for the most part, you always get something new every time you open a loot box. However, number six. The unlockables and the loot boxes. Sometimes you get dick and you only get one every time you level up. And they're pretty expensive to buy as well. It's really annoying when you buy 10 and you get fuck all. But that's life, huh? Number seven. It kicks people really fast from the game, which I really enjoy because a lot of people do go AFK. Someone's at their door, they need a shit. Because I feel like people join pretty quick after they get kicked, you know? There's nothing more frustrating than playing a game and your teammate is AFK fingering his bum hole or something. It's really frustrating that I'm not there doing it for them. <laughs> Number seven. This game is expensive, man. It's cost me like 55 pounds. I'm not sure the exact translation is in dollars, but it's pretty damn expensive. It's a tip, by the way, for any UK users. If you change your location to United States on the Xbox, then go on the store, you can buy the game cheaper, basically. What can I say? I'm a man of the people. Number eight. Playing support is actually really fun. No one likes playing support in games for the most part. Especially me. I'm more of an offensive guy. I love attacking. But Mercy's my favorite, man. She's my main. It's really rewarding and really satisfying just healing that bar up and being one of the biggest reasons why your team is pushing or defending and taking all the damage. Support is really fun. Number eight. Bastion. Can you just... I fucking hate him. Number nine. The fact that Blizzard are actually going to update this game. So it's nice to see Blizzard actually give a shit about their games and like an update every now and then. Good on you, Blizzard. Number nine. There's no story mode. I mean, what is up with that? The characters in the lore are awesome. They could have easily made a really cool story mode. The animated shorts are really cool. Don't get me wrong. And it definitely adds to the game. But I really wish they took the time to add some sort of story mode. I'm very interested in the lore and the world and the characters. So I'd love to know more. Maybe in the future they'll release something similar. One can dream. Number ten. This is the big one, and it's just how good it feels to play. And again, I'm playing controller, so I can't really say anything for the mouse and keyboard. But the way the characters move, the way you aim, just everything about the game is so satisfying. And I'll be lying if I'm not a total fanboy right now. I really wasn't expecting much from this game. I figured, oh, overhyped Blizzard game, whatever. But it's really captivated me, and I've really, really enjoyed playing it. Number 10. The fact that I'm so addicted to this game. And there you have it, the things that I love and hate about Overwatch. I love the game, I'm very impressed Blizzard, and I can't wait to fly around as Mercy and fill people's bars up. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.